Welcome to Melaka. As you all see here, I love Melaka. Mm. Welcome to Melaka town and today I want to show you things to do here in Melaka. But before that, did you know that Melaka was listed as a World Heritage Site by UNESCO in 2008? So be sure to subscribe. My name is Dee Mwango from Kenya in Africa, now here in Melaka in Malaysia. And today we want to check out places to visit here in Melaka if you ever come to Malaysia. So let's get straight into the video. Number one, Jonka Walk. Jonka Walk is one of the most popular streets here in Melaka, popularly known for having lots and varieties of street food, more so at night. So if you want that vibrant, bubbly feeling, please make your way here at night. You know, it's always packed with lots of street food. And guys, you can come across different types of restaurants having different types of foods here. You'll come across people taking pictures of buildings because they really have very old buildings over a hundred years that were established here by Portuguese, you know, the ancient people. So it's really magnificent. So guys, I decided to walk to this uh small shop here to get some coconut water malaysia being very humid i guess it will really come handy and it will keep me going here in jonka walk and guys apart from that i came across this chef who was cooking uh some street food here i don't really know the exact name but uh, what i can see is he's using coconut to make it so if you're watching this video and you're from malaysia kindly let me know the name of this food being cooked in the comment section down below but uh it was interesting watching watching him cook you know placing the food on the banana leaf and you know that means this food is very you know is very um local or traditional i can say so guys now it's time for me to quench my thirst with the coconut water my favorite drink and for one it goes for five ringgit you know that's equivalent to one dollar and uh, ten cents around there so let's say roughly one us dollar for one coconut okay and uh for sure it's all i needed to keep me walking here in jonka walk wow and guys, you can also have a ride within Melaka using these well-decorated bicycles. And for a ride, they charge 25 ringgit just to go round. That's equivalent to $5. Okay, so it's up to you whether you want to walk like me or you want to take a ride. <laughs> Number two, have a walk within the Christ Church. So guys, just from the Jonka walk, you get yourself into this side and it's very beautiful. This is the Melaka River, very magnificent. People always have boat rides here. And guys, you'll also come across lots of backpackers around this place because it's very touristic. And guys, did I mention, this is one of the cleanest towns here in malaysia of course malaysia is all clean in general but at this place it's very beautiful due to you know the colors of the buildings here they look so nice you know red in color and let me know what you think about them in the comment section down below but this area here this is where you get to find the christ church okay which is one of the earliest church that was established here but before we go there let's get to check how this other side looks like okay but uh, honestly i love it I... wow guys if you ever come to malaysia make sure you come to malacca it's one of the cleanest and beautiful towns here in malaysia and it's amazing it's amazing so let me know what you think about this place and don't forget to give the video a like and leave a comment let me know what you think about melaka it's amazing damn so people always have a boat ride here okay we'll later go and pay then we can see if we can have a boat ride it's amazing hmm? melaka so guys now we are at the church street this street got its name i think from the 
Christ Church Melaka actually and guys this church over here you know it's the Christ Church Melaka that I'm talking about and actually it was built here by the Dutch in 1753 and that makes it you know Malaysia's oldest functioning Protestant church and don't forget it was built by the Dutch and so if you ever come to Melaka don't miss to come to this beautiful place you'll always find people here taking pictures it's very Instagrammable and it's it also shows for sure you are in Melaka so it's known by its color red in color and the cross at the top so it's easy to see it outside you'll see this fountain here which really looks so good very refreshing and to crown it all this sign here i love melaka this now shows for sure you are in melaka you'll find people taking pictures here so let me know what you think about the video so far and leave a comment let me know what you love more about melaka so guys right now we are on our way to saint paul's church up the hill which is saint paul's hill but after taking a lot of stairs you'll come across this beautiful view over here which is amazing malaysia looks so good and green and finally you'll see the church saint paul's church so before we go in i would love to explain something about the statue that you see out here so this statue is a statue of uh, the late saint you know saint francis xavier he was very popular in converting people back to jesus and uh, he did a lot of christianity work in india japan and china but he faced a lot of resistance in china and japan so he later died in 1552 in china so his body was brought to this church here which is saint paul's church which we are about to get inside to check it out so his body was brought here and it was buried in here for eight good months you know then later it was uh, flew to goa in india where his body is resting up to date so the first grave you see here is where saint uh, francis xavier was buried so there's a lot of history when you come here and the other graves that you see here are um, the dutch graves also who are part and parcel of this church so that's why uh, melaka still remains as one of the historic uh, towns here in asia actually and also in the world so whenever you find yourself in malaysia please come to melaka there's a lot of history to learn so guys as you still see there's a lot of uh, uh graves in here you know lots of graves everywhere you go you just see graves 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 in here you know so the people who are working in this church who died you know almost the same time as saint xavier they were all buried in here so up to date this church is still existing but people no longer worship in here because uh, the British East Indian Company who took over Melaka in 1825 used the church to store ammunition. I mean, they used to store here their guns, their fighting equipment. So it was no longer fit for Christians to worship in here. So they decided to build the other church, the Christ Church Melaka that you saw previously before watching this part of the video. So that's where people worship up to date. So whenever you come to Melaka, don't miss to come here to this church, St. Paul's Church. A lot of history for historians like me. For sure you'll enjoy the history here. It's quite sad, but it is what it is. So guys, just next to the St. Paul's Church, you'll see a lot of stairs going down. And now we headed to the Famosa, which is also very historic. So after taking lots of stairs, you'll come across this building here. It's called the Famosa. It was a Portuguese fortress built in Melaka in 1512. And it's the oldest part of the fortress was a five-story keep, which gave its name the fortress as a whole. So guys, this is how it looks in the inside. And this is the only part of this fortress that is remaining. Remember, it was a five-story building, but it was destroyed, okay, in 1807 by the British, okay? So this is the only part that is remaining. Can you imagine a five-story building down, reduced 
to this so it's very historic also when you visit uh, St. Paul's Church don't forget to check it out as well it's you just take the stairs down and you'll see it and this is how it looks like very historic I hope you're really enjoying the video so guys finally time for the boat ride because you cannot afford to miss that so when I cruise this way all right here in Malacca and uh, now I want to get a ticket so let's go that way and get our ticket then we can do the boat cruise because the sun is almost setting so yeah we have to cruise on Melaka river this is a uh, Melaka river mm. so when you come here don't miss to try it out so let's see if we can uh, have one okay ticket counter Okay, let's see. I guess it's here. Hello. How much is uh, the ticket? Thirty. 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 Ringgit. Yeah, thirty ringgit. Mm, wow. So what time? 6.30 six thirty is the next cruise. Yep. All these people are waiting for 6.30. Sorry? All these people are waiting yep. for 6.30. Okay, so alright. So guys, time for the boat ride. So we wanna cruise along River Melaka. Mm, one of the things to do here. So the ticket goes for 30 ringgits. Okay, that's like six dollars. So let's go in. Okay. Sepanjang perjalanan ini, tuan-tuan dan puan-puan akan dapat tuan-tuan perjalanan dan penyelidikan serta peninggalan sejarah negeri bertuah ini. Untuk pengetahuan tuan-tuan time to enjoy the cruise the sun is almost setting so it's the best timing 6 30 uh, malaysian time so let's do this please ensure young children and your personal belongings are supervised throughout the journey you are advised to be seated at all times during the so guys we just took off cruising along river melaka for sure it's something to die for so please don't miss to try it out and for sure you will thank me later so this is one of the things to do here in melaka it's very 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 refreshing you know the uh, the breeze you know is just something you could ask for because malaysia being so humid it really comes in handy so don't miss to try uh boat cruising along river melaka and as you cruise you see the beautiful melaka well lit very green oh my god what else can you ask for okay so yeah for sure it's something to try and i really had a good time it was worth it as you all see here welcome to historic city of melaka once more guys melaka is one of the world's historical uh cities in the world so never miss to come to melaka if you ever come to malaysia so that you don't miss out on these amazing adventures so let me know what you think about the video so far but honestly i loved every bit of this uh, boat cruise and it takes about uh 30 to 45 minutes and actually you go around melaka you know so please don't miss to try i've said that so many times and for sure it's amazing so guys let me know what you think about the video please give it a like if you really appreciate what i do give the video a like and don't miss to subscribe that's the best way to appreciate my work and share the videos to your friends if you're ever planning to come to melaka please pack your bags and come and you'll thank me later share the videos to your friend subscribe if you haven't already road to 200k subscribers and leave your comments in the comment section down below let me know what you think about the video so guys as you cruise along river melaka you'll see lots of beautiful buildings and this is malaysia you know to be specific melaka a very very beautiful place 
to come okay so let's enjoy this moment just loving this moment can we stay here forever i'm loving this moment can we stay here together if i could stop the time don't you know that i would cause i We are back to reality clan. <laughs> so the boat ride was amazing as you've all seen. So if you ever come to Malacca, please it's a must try, okay? So guys, uh that's the end of our boat ride. It was amazing and for sure it's one of the things you must try whenever you find yourself here in Malacca. And Malacca is a beautiful place to come. Oh my god, and you here? You get to have a very good feeling. You get to see so many things. You know, the ship is over there. A lot of history here. I don't know, let me take you there. Although it's time for me to go home, but uh, hmm, wow, it's over there. Damn. Amazing. So guys, that marks the end of today's video. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed Malacca tour. Okay, so don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment. Let me know what you think about today's video, if you loved it. And for sure, I'd love to say, if you ever come to Malaysia, come to Malacca. And thank me later you'll never regret okay so until next time greetings from Malacca and let me know some of the other places you'd love me to to show you while I'm here in Malaysia anyway guys bye bye